Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us on this special Crystal Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm just going to go through some quick housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar is going to run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type in your questions using the questions panel of the webinar throughout, and we'll get to them at the end. This webinar is being recorded, and it will be posted to CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. With that, let me introduce our presenter, Helen Beck. Helen has worked within the travel industry for over 30 years, with the latter half being spent in the cruise segment. Since February 2016, as Vice President, International Sales and Marketing, she has been overseeing the international marketing and sales activities to support Crystal's expansion across the world's oceans and rivers with Crystal Cruises, Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises, and Crystal River Cruises. She is responsible for the marketing and sales efforts around the international markets to support the launch of Crystal Air Cruises as well. Take it away, Helen. Thank you very much, Anna, for the introduction, and good afternoon to everybody. Uh, and equally, I'd just like to add my thanks to Claire as well for this opportunity to talk to you about all things Crystal. So as, you've, as Anna's introduced, my name is Helen Beck, and uh, as you maybe can tell from my accent, I'm, uh, I'm British. So I'm, I'm dialing in today from, uh, from London. So greetings to you from London. So I do hope that um, the, just the, having the presentation itself is enough of an, an incentive for you to stay on. But please also know that we have a webinar raffle. And at the end of this webinar, we will be announcing one lucky winner who will have won a $250 gift certificate, uh, which will be on a Visa card uh, for you to go and spend wherever you would like. So hopefully that gives you some incentive to stay throughout this presentation. So here's the uh, We have our Condé Nast Traveler voting, just to talk about that a little bit. Then I'll be moving on into Crystal Cruises and giving you an update of everything that we have going on with Crystal Symphony and Crystal Serenity. I'll give you an overview of what's happening with our wonderful Crystal River Cruises and also with our Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises and uh, talking to you a little bit about what we have um, happening with Crystal Endeavour, uh, the Crystal Yacht Expedition latest uh, addition to the fleet. And then I'll take you through some of the promotional opportunities uh, that are still available until the end of, uh, of June. So first off, just a, a reminder, we have at the moment the Condé Nast Traveller 2018 Reader's Choice Awards going on. And I'm delighted to let you know that as Crystal, we have five of our vessels nominated for the Reader's Choice Awards. So uh, if any of your guests have sailed with us, then we'd be delighted to have them uh, pick or press and submit the recommendations for Crystal as our nominated vessels. I'm also pleased to talk to you about our, our relationship with um, ASTA, the American Society for Travel Agents. This has been renewed, uh, including our premium benefits, and it also means that we will have a premier booth at the ASTA Global Convention when that takes place in Washington, D.C. on the 21st to the 23rd of August this year. So, this is just a little slide here to remind you of the world of Crystal. So, uh, you've, heard us talk, you've heard me talk already about Crystal Cruises, Crystal River Cruises and Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises. Crystal Air Cruises and Crystal Luxury Air. And I will also just mention briefly as we go through the presentation today, a little bit about Crystal Diamond class. So let's jump straight into Crystal Cruises. So this is really the core of everything to do with Crystal. So just, just a reminder here really of the hallmarks of Crystal. We're delighted to have been awarded more awards and recognition than any other cruise line in history. We've actually received uh, or been recognized as the world's best cruise ship for 24 years by Condé Mass Traveller. We also have the, the most highly awarded staff at sea, which really um, is such a credit to the efforts of our onboard teams as they look after our guests, your guests, all around the world. 
Our dining is available in as many as nine different venues on board our Crystal Symphony and Crystal Serenity, supported, of course, by 24-hour room service. Very happily, we offer unlimited fine wines, premium spirits, and champagne. As well, please remember that we have one of the highest crew to guest ratios in the industry, as well as 24-hour personal butler service for our penthouse and suite guests. And this, I think, is something that we don't probably talk about enough. At Crystal Cruises, we're very proud of the enrichment programs that we offer to all of our guests through the Creative Learning Institute. And this is really offering uh, enrichment through either lectures from world famous and renowned speakers or um, learning how to knit. So lots of a great range of enrichment available on board. Here you see an image of our two wonderful ships, Crystal Symphony and Crystal Serenity. So what I'm going to do now is just take you through a little bit as to what's going on with these two vessels. So Symphony, Crystal Symphony, as I'm hoping you're aware, she went through a four-week dry dock uh, towards the end of last year. And these are just some images to show you what she looks like now. So in the top left, you see here, you've got the Sea Breeze Penthouse Suite. And so what we did was we actually took deck nine and we took some of the verandas that we have on board uh, on that deck and we turned two verandas into one suite. And so we uh, added some penthouses and some penthouse suites for the sea breeze deck. This actually means that we took the capacity of the ship down. Uh, and so we actually welcome now on board 848 guests on board Crystal Symphony. Top right there, you see uh, an addition to our dining venue. Uh, we've moved to an open seating dining concept on board. Added some new venues. One of these you see here on the top right there is Silk Kitchen and Bar. This is just a beautiful uh, renovated, refreshed area in the area that used to be the Trident Grill. Still is the Trident Grill. We still offer um, that menu and that venue on board the ship. But now we also have the Silk Kitchen with this wonderful cocktail bar uh, and then that lovely area that's uh, available to go and relax in throughout the day. Bottom left, you see an image here of our uh, dining room, which has now become a restaurant called Waterside. Uh, and this is where we offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner to all of our guests. And you'll see we changed the configuration of the layout there, the tables, um, where we're offering a lot more tables for two so that we can really uh, look after our guests' wishes as they go through the voyage, they may start the voyage as a, as a couple, and then they make friends, and they go in for dinner as uh, fours and sixes. And so the dining room or the restaurant now has become very modular and flexible to accommodate our guests. And then bottom right, you see another image there of the Sea Breeze Penthouse Suite. Crystal Serenity. Now she's going to be going into her dry dock on the 14th of April this year. And again, for about four weeks, uh, she'll be out of the water having um, her uh, evolution of luxury. In a similar way, we're going to be uh, adapting some of the suites or the verandas rather and turning those into suites. As you see there, we'll be adding another 38 suites on board, uh, which will actually reduce our capacity down to 980 guests. Our guest to space ratio is 70.3. And because Serenity tends to have more suites anyway, the suite capacity is only an increase of 6% there, as you see. We're rolling out the open seating dining concept on Serenity so that our guests have the choice to dine when, where, and with whom they would like, along with those new restaurant concepts as well. So here you see some of the images of what, uh, what is happening on board with our dining. So top left there, we have the Churrascaria. Now, this is going to be located in an area of the ship that's currently called the Lido Cafe. We're changing the name to the Marketplace. And the Lido Cafe, sorry, as it becomes the Marketplace, will continue to serve breakfast and lunch. But typically, it's been closed in the evening. Now, we're opening at the after sea Marketplace with the Churrascaria. Now, as I'm sure you all know, this is a Brazilian steakhouse concept, basically. So it means that our, our waiters and waitresses will be going around with those um, swords, with different meats, different cuts of meat and shrimps and sausages and all of those things. So you can basically eat, if you're a meat lover, this is the place for you. 
Um, no reservations are needed for the Churrascaria, and this is one of our complimentary venues. Across to the right there, you see the Silk Kitchen and Bar. Um, you saw that how that looked on um, Symphony from the outside with the bar area. Here's an image of what the dining area will look like. Silk Kitchen will be open for breakfast and lunch, and then also for dinner. And the, the cuisine here is sort of Asian fusion, and we have an open galley concept. So this really allows our guests to interact with the chefs and the waiters. Again, no reservations required, um, but if a guest would like to reserve, of course, then that's available. Bottom right, you see the water side of how the water side will look on Serenity. So again, um, tables of fours and sixes and a lot more tables of two so that we can accommodate our guests' desires to, to seat at smaller tables or with those new friends that they've made on board. And then bottom left, we have here Uni Uma. Now, if you know Crystal well, you'll know, of course, that we have this wonderful relationship with Master Chef Nobu. And currently on Serenity, his restaurant on board is called Silk Road. Um, similar to on Symphony, the restaurant will name will change to Umi Uma, which actually means seahorse in Japanese. So here's an image of what the refreshed uh, Umi Uma will look like as she goes through, the, as, as the restaurant is refreshed through dry dock. So this is just going to be some pictures here to show you what the accommodations will look like on Serenity in those new suites. I hope you like these colour schemes and designs as much as I do. I think this is, these are very refreshing uh, in the style. So here, top left, you can see an image of the penthouse. Uh, and then bottom left and top right, you can see the penthouse suite with both the living area and the, and the bedroom area. So again, very spacious, very modern and contemporary in style. And then bottom right, you have that double vanity bathroom there um, with the separate shower unit. Now, just moving into what the land, the views looking out over the destinations and the ocean as we sail. Um, and, the, and the Palm Court is getting a very contemporary yet classic refresh uh, to the decor within the Palm Court. Uh, and this is also where we hold some of our enrichment uh, programs, uh, often maybe a speech or it could be dance classes or some of the other classes that we offer. But we're also looking at the other enrichment venues that we have on board of Serenity. So both the studio and the computer university at sea will also get refreshes. And so you can see again, very open and airy contemporary style to how these venues will look uh, when Serenity comes out of her dry dock. We have, we're delighted to say that we have Crystal Serenity sailing um, here in Europe uh, this summer. And so uh, our Crystal President and CEO, Mr. Tom Volga, and his wife Sharon, will be hosting their 2018 President's Cruise on board of Serenity this year. And this is a voyage that's actually starting on the 29th of July, sailing from Dover, going around the northern coast of France and Spain in the Atlantic Ocean there, through uh, uh, going to Oporto and Lisbon, coming into Barcelona, through the Mediterranean to Cassis. You'll note from these ports, particularly Bordeaux and Oporto and Cassis, there's absolutely a, a wine and gastronomy theme here. So if you have any guests who haven't uh, finalized their plans for the summer yet, then I think this could be a very appealing itinerary for them. Plus, of course, you're in the company of our president, which means that we have a special Q&A session with Tom. Uh, there's an optional president excursion and various other events that we do uh, during that voyage. I'm delighted to also remind you or let you know that we're already now on sale for our 2020 World Cruise. We're actually on sale for all of 2020, but I just really wanted to highlight our 2020 World Cruise. This will be our 25th annual world cruise that we have operated. This voyage called Epic Empires in the Villic Isle will be on board Serenity and will be a 150 day voyage sailing from Miami to Rome. And as you can see there, we've got three maiden calls uh, across 23 countries and 47 ports of call in all. Here's actually the map of the itinerary. So you can see we've actually got seven segments on this world cruise. 
So we start off in Miami, going through the Panama Canal through to Los Angeles. Then we embark in Los Angeles, ending at in Papeete. And if those of you have any World Cruise guests, they can choose to start their World Cruise either in Miami or in Los Angeles, depending where they're, they're located or which is most convenient for them. From Papeete in, uh, in the Polynesia, the, she, uh, Serenity heads over to Auckland, where she goes into those wonderful ports in New Zealand before heading over to Tasmania and to Sydney. Then from Sydney, she goes up the east coast of Australia, uh, through Asia to end up in Singapore. From Singapore then, she has a voyage through Southeast Asia up to Mumbai. And then from Mumbai, she touches on the coast of uh, Oman before going to uh, Jordan, Israel, through the Suez Canal and up to Cyprus and finishing her world cruise in Trivita Vecchia uh, to access Rome. As we launched the 2020 deployment and itineraries, we've also had a look at our reservations and sales policies. So I'd just like to take you through what we've done here. So first of all, what you see here is actually a reminder of what our 2018 and 2019 reservation sales policies are. So this is what we've got in place today for our deposits, final and cancellation penalty policies. So the deposit across the board for all of our experiences, it's a 20% deposit. And final payment for our ocean voyages and our river and yacht voyages that are shorter than 46 days, full final payment is due at 90 days prior to the voyage ending. And then any voyages that are A slightly different for those voyages that are 47 days or longer with for the 13 uh, or less, 14 to 46 days in our river and yacht voyages, those are all standardized there starting at 90 days. So the changes I'm just showing you now on this next slide. So for 2020 uh, bookings, the deposit now is 25%, and that's across the board, regardless of duration. And what we've implemented is actually administration fee. Now, this administration fee, as you see there, varies depending on the duration uh, and on, or on the experience. So if you're a, 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 your guests are booking a voyage of 13 days or less, the admin fee is $100. If it's 14 to 21 days, it's 200 or ocean voyages that are 22 days or longer for any of our river and yacht uh, voyages, the admin fee is $500. Now, basically, if a guest decides that they would like to cancel their reservation once it's been booked, that admin fee will be retained and it can be used against a future cruise that is booked within the next 12 months. Uh, and so that is the purpose of that admin fee. Here you see also that we're changing slightly the date or of when the final payment is due. So again, for voyages uh, that are 13 days or less on the ocean, or for any of our river and yacht voyages, final payment was for our 2020 sailings is due. One day, so actually due, payment is due now at 150 days prior. And then for those ocean voyages that are 22 days or longer, final payment is due at 180 days. Now, these final payment changes also impact, of course, therefore, our cancellation penalties. So here you see what that has done. So again, on our ocean voyages that are 13 days or less, on our river and yacht voyages, cancellation starts at 120 days. For ocean voyages are between 14 and 21 days, they start at 150 days. And then for ocean voyages that are 22 days or longer, they start at 180 days. So those are the different, slightly different reservation sales policies that we have specifically for our 2020 itineraries for all of our different experiences. Now then, I touched at the start to say that we have also our Crystal Diamond class. Now, Crystal Diamond class is the new design of ship that we have for our ocean fleet. And the diamond class will be slightly smaller, uh, keeping her in line with our current ocean ships with Crystal Symphony and Serenity, therefore approximately 65,000 gross tons. 
Now you're probably thinking that I'm going to click the switch and we're going to start talking and sharing more detail about Darn and Class. But I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is as much as I'm telling you. So I'm sorry that it's simply one slide, but this is really just a placeholder to let you know that this is what we have going on coming in the future for our ocean ships. Um, but and more details to follow. So this is a bit of a teaser, I'm afraid. So I'd now like to take us into the wonderful world of Crystal River Cruises. So as you can see on the slide here, we are uh, delighted that uh, our Crystal River Cruise uh, have already been awarded by Travel and Leisure as the world's best, best river cruise line, which considering that the fleet only launched in the middle of the, uh, in July 2016, is really quite Proudly, we have the largest suite, suites on the European rivers. We've deliberately included more overnights and extended stays in the itineraries that we feature on uh, Crystal River Cruises so that our guests can truly get to enjoy those wonderful destinations that we're visiting. And we have launched Crystal Complementary Adventures. This is what we're calling our land programs that we're offering to our guests and there's really an abundance of options there and I'll take you through some of the categories that we're offering. So within the Crystal River Cruises fleet, we actually have five ships uh, and we have our award-winning Crystal Mozart. She's actually the widest uh, and most spacious ship in Europe. She sails only on the River Danube. She's actually too wide to go through the locks <laughs> to allow her to, to go onto the River Mine uh, Rhine and Moselle rivers. So she only sails on the Danube. Uh, and already in 2016, when she launched, she was awarded the best new river ship uh, by the editors of US and UK cruise critics. She has her sisters, um, the four new ships that we have built over and brought into the Crystal River Cru Cruises fleet. Crystal Bach and Crystal Marla joined last year in 2017. And Crystal Debussy and Crystal Ravel have just joined uh, the fleet in the last month or so. And these are Europe's only all suite and all balcony river ships. The image you see here is of one of the suites that we have on board one of our Rhine class ships. So, as you can see, very spacious, really does feel like a home away from home, and every attention to detail has been paid to make to for all of the amenities that you have within the suite. The window that you see there is actually called a panoramic balcony window. And to the left of the uh, image, there's actually a button and electronically the window drops. To wave with Europe as we sail along the Danube, the Mines, and the Bell and the Rhine. As mentioned, we have uh, some of the highest crew to guest ratios on all of the river ships. And um, really the key to success with our crew on board is the attention to detail and the anticipation of making sure that our guests' needs are, are sort of well in advance. And it really is in the service of luxury. Uh, we have an outstanding uh, team of, get, of, of crew on board all of our river ships. I hope you either had lunch or dinner or breakfast and are not tempted by the, the wonderful food image that you see here. Um, but the food that we feature on board of all of the Crystal River cru uh, Cruiser ships is really extraordinary. It's not just Michelin inspired, it's also inspired by the regions that we're visiting as we sail along the river. So you really do get a local feel uh, for, the, for the cuisine that's served as you, as you dine with us on board the ship. I touched on the, uh, the abundance of, shore, of land programs that we have to offer as you're on sailing with us. And we've actually put our, uh, our land programs into different categories to help our guests make their selections as to what they would like, how they would like to plan their days and spend their days. 
So we have the different categories of tantalizing gastronomy, exhilarating adventures, personal connections, and cultural discoveries, along with the final uh, category there called design your time. And design your time is actually really for those guests who have always had a wish list to do something in one of the places that we're going. Uh, often be uh, private experiences that we have where we manage to, to close down them or go behind the scenes in, in museums or in cathedrals or in any of those wonderful venues that we're visiting and in the destinations as we sail along the rivers. We've also introduced some uh, new pre and post land experiences. So what these are for really um, to help you when your, your, uh, your guests are coming into Europe and they want to sail on the river, but they'd also like to go to some of those other iconic destinations within Europe. So this is giving you some three night stays that are based in some wonderful five-star accommodations and include flights, um, though you can bolt these on either before or after the, the cruise that your guests have chosen for them to have that experience in a, in a wonderful destination. And, and here are just some of the uh, examples of the programs we've put together. So for example, if you're uh, your river cruise is embarking in Amsterdam, you could choose to add on a visit to Paris, a three night stay in Paris at the Parc Cayot Mondon, uh, with those flights included, or if you're in Basel, uh, it might be Prague that has taken your attention, or even if you're uh, home, uh, getting on board in Budapest, and again it's Prague, you can go and stay there at the Augustine Hotel. If you're joining your ship in Frankfurt, then maybe it's Berlin that caught your attention, or from Vienna, we put a program together there in Porto Roche, uh, where you would stay at the Kempinski Palace. So I think this is a great uh, addition to the range of experiences that you can offer to your guests. So I'm leaving the world of river cruises and heading off into crystal yacht expedition cruises. And similarly to uh, crystal river cruises, we're delighted to have been awarded by um, uh, World sorry, Travel and Leisure the world's best small ship ocean cruise line for uh, Crystal Esprit and Crystal Yacht Expedition cruises. So Crystal Esprit uh, is the vessel that we currently have in the fleet for Crystal Yacht Expedition cruises, and she is ready for serving just 62 guests in 32 wonderful butler service suites and looked after by over 90 crew members. She's currently sailing in the Adriatic, and then we'll be moving over to the West Indies again for the winter of 2018-2019. Uh, and then we'll head again back into the Adriatic and Mediterranean through 2019. And then for the winter of 2019 and 20, she will actually be sailing off into the Arabian Gulf and then going down into the Indian Ocean and the Seychelles, which I think is very exciting for a spree and that will be a great appeal, I'm sure, for your guests. I would like to introduce you, if you're not already aware, to Crystal Endeavour. Crystal Endeavour is the uh, yacht, uh, expedition yacht that is currently being built and uh, is planned to join the Crystal Yacht Expedition fleet in 2020. She will be just under 20,000 gross registered tons with 100 suites and she'll be PC6 compliant. Now, what this means is that she will be Polar Class 6 compliant which means, as you can see from the image actually, that she, uh, what's not an icebreaker, she will be able to sail through the light pack ice in the Arctic and the Antarctic. So I'd just like to take you through some of the suites and some of the other renderings of what Crystal Endeavour is going to look like. So she will be, the, uh, the suites that she will have on board will be the industry's largest, most spacious accommodation, and here's just some examples of the suite sizes. So we have two different types of crystal penthouse suite, um, depending on which side of the ship the, the suite is on. The size varies from being anything between 980 square, 85 square feet to 1130 square feet with additional balcony size of between 680 to 737 square feet. And then we have our penthouse suite, where the stateroom itself will be 457 square feet, 
and the balcony will measure 77.5 square feet. And our entry level state rooms are our uh, deluxe A and deluxe B suites with a size of 305 square feet and balconies that measure 51.5 square feet. And here's some of the images of these wonderful suites. So this really is showing you some of the different designs that we have for the Crystal Penthouse Suite. So you can see there on the top left, the separate living area with the, um, with the work desk and the dining table, and then obviously the inbuilt television. You've got a couple of different of uh, the bedroom images there for the, in, for the suite. And then you have the bathroom there with the separate uh, vanities and the separate shower that would feature in the Crystal Penthouse. These next images are to do with the penthouse suites that we will have on board of Endeavour. So here again, you see the spacious uh, living area and then those wonderful floor to ceiling windows which, and, and, and uh, sliding doors to the verandas that would give you those uh, views out to those amazing destinations your guests will be visiting. And as you can see there, there's the vanities and the different uh, working and dining areas available. Here you now see the deluxe suite. So again, very spacious with the separate living area and again the veranda there that you have access to through those wonderful floor to ceiling uh, doors. So again, everything that you could wish in those deluxe suites. I'd just like to now show you some of the restaurants that we have on board in the Crystal Endeavour, some of the dining venues. You'll recognize the names. We're, as you can see at Crystal, we're keeping the same names, uh, naming style for our ships, whether it's Crystal River, Crystal Yacht, or on our ocean ships. So the Waterside is our main uh, restaurant on board. We're bringing Prego, our Italian speciality venue will be on board Endeavour as will Uni Uma. So you see there the sushi bar at the end and then the, the lovely dining venue uh, that we will have for Uni Uma. We're bringing the silk kitchen and bar on board of Crystal Endeavour in this uh, wonderful double uh, decked area. And then obviously the bistro, uh, our cafe and buffet will be featuring on board of Endeavour as well. I'd just now like to show you the lounges, bar and outdoor spaces. So this is how the Palm Court will look on board of Endeavour. So again, beautiful muted colours but with those wonderful floor to ceiling windows that really give you the best views of those destinations that we're sailing to. We have the Connoisseur Club on board. So this is the, um, the, the um, cigar lounge that we feature on, Crystal Serenity and Symphony. We also also have on board the Crystal Cove uh, with the lounge and bar areas here, as you see, and the Crystal Promenade. Alongside the Crystal Spa, Life Spa, you see top left and top right, you see the spa and the spa and then the salon area. And then bottom left, you have the fitness with those wonderful views, which I'm sure will inspire um, all of the energy needed in the, in the fitness room. And then there's that beautiful relaxation area on the bottom right. We have our shops on board, Acropo and Facet. So here's an image of the solarium. Um, so you can see there you've got the jacuzzi and, the, and the, the plunge pool there on board. And this is how the decks will look by day, outdoor deck will look by day and by night. So that's sheltered, very contemporary in style and, and a beautiful area to be. Now, of course, Endeavour is an expedition ship, and so she will be going to some of the most uh, unusual places on the planet in the Arctic and the Antarctic. So the mudroom really is where um, our guests will be able to leave their muddy boots uh, and be disrobed from their uh, adventure jackets and all of the warm clothing that they've been wearing for their excursions. And if you've been, a, if you're a skier, this may look reminiscent of the boot room. So you'll leave your boots here; they'll be warmed up, uh, and our butlers, of course, will make sure they're all clean and ready for you for the next day. This here just shows you some of the other venues that we have scattered around the ship. So you have the captain's lounge, the expedition lounge, a helicopter lounge, and then the library. Uh, so just an image of, of, of some styles of how these venues will look. So that was Crystal Endeavour, but I'm, I'm delighted now just to talk a tiny bit 
about um, crystal air cruises and crystal luxury air. So um, we have our 777, our Boeing 777, and we have our Bombardier Global Express 12-seater jet. So if you're not sure just how to get your guests to uh, Crystal Symphony, Serenity, Crystal Endeavour, Crystal Esprit, any of our river cruises, then please do consider these two planes. They are available for private, uh, private charter. So it can be really quite a splendid way to get your, get your guests to any of our, uh, our uh, ocean, river or yacht experiences. The uh, Crystal Sky has a capacity of just over 80 flatbed seats with uh, the Bombardier Global Express having a capacity of about 12. Now, I'd just like to take you into some promotional opportunities that will hopefully, now that you've been inspired by everything that we have going on at Crystal, um, here's some tools that you can use to help your, your selling. So, first of all, in our Partner Resource Center, you will find for yourselves the different travel partner fairs that we have available on Crystal Esprit and Crystal Bach, but also on uh, our Crystal Ocean and other Crystal River experiences as well. We are delighted to be offering on Crystal River getaways some bonus commissions. So we've actually shortened some of our river cruises on board Crystal Bach and Ravel uh, on their itineraries through the Rhine and Danube. And if you are able to make any bookings on those before the 30th of June, then you will earn a $250 bonus commission. And if you book the whole voyage, you then will actually get $500 bonus commission. And these are just an idea of some of the ships that we have, these getaways as we call them. These are these shorter duration voyages ranging from six, seven, eight, or even nine night durations. And as you can see here, we have these departures uh, from this current month, May, now all the way through to November, and on Crystal Bach, Crystal Ravel, and Crystal Mala. With embarkations at Amsterdam, Mainz, Frankfurt, Basel, Nuremberg, Vienna, and Regensburg, as well as Budapest. So, plenty of options to choose there. We're also happy to offer our early booking savings. This is for 2019 uh, on Crystal River voyages, and this is where your guests have an opportunity to save up to $1,000 per suite. And this again is applicable until the end of uh, June of this year. And these are some of the itineraries that you can uh, take advantage of these early booking savings. So there's selected voyages there on Crystal Mozart, Crystal Mala, um, with 10 nights, 7 nights, uh, and 11 night voyages uh, from round trips to Vienna, Budapest to Vienna, Budapest to Linz, as well as Passau to Budapest or Budapest to Nuremberg. So plenty of choices there for your guests. So, urge you to take uh, advantage of these uh, early booking savings for 19. We also have what we call book now savings. So this is still available for some of our 2018 Crystal River voyages, again bookable by the end of June, and there you can get savings of up to $1,000 per suite. And here are some of the voyages for these. So again, a range of 10 day, 7 day, 11 and 14 day voyages, on Mahler, Mozart, Ravel, and Bach. And again, there's Vienna, Frankfurt to Amsterdam, and Basel to Amsterdam. So in our Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises, we're delighted to be also offering early booking savings on the yacht, on Crystal Esprit. So if you book by the end of June, again, your guests can take the benefit of some uh, early booking savings of up to $1,000 on some of our 29 Esprit voyages. And these particularly are reflecting uh, on the um, West Indies voyages that we have through January and April of next year. So sailing from St. Martin there, either on the British Virgin Islands voyage or the West Indies Yachting Explorer, or even for New Year. Um, so there's plenty of choice there. We also have what now saving for a, some select 2018 voyages. And that's again to book by 30 June of this year to get those savings of up to $1,000. And this is uh, offered specifically on our seven night voyages that again we have in a sailing from St. Martin uh, from November and December this year. I'm sure you're all well aware of our Crystal Clear Choices promotion. And just as a reminder, we have this promotion still available until the end of June, where you have these three different options. So you can choose to have cruise fare savings of up to $400 per guest, 
or a shipboard credit of up to $600 per guest, or a choice of um, business class or economy class add-ons for Crystal River, or a Crystal Air credit of up to $500 per guest for ocean, Crystal Ocean Voyages. So that really gives you plenty of choice to offer to your guests there, and that is available on many of our 2018 and 2019 ocean and river voyages. And here's just some of the ideas of the ocean, ship, ocean voyages that we have in 2018, as you see here on the July 29 voyage, our president's cruise from London to Monte Carlo, we have the Crystal Clear Choices promotion available, uh, as we do there on um, the 2 December and 7 December voyages on Crystal Symphony and Serenity when she's sailing from Fort Lord. Now, for those of you who are, are selling uh, actively to families, I'm happy to say we have some kids sale free promotions as well. And for us, that means uh, junior cruisers from the age of 17 and under, uh, when they're traveling with two full fair adults, get a complimentary third birth. A key point to note as well is that we always make sure that our enrichment and entertainment programs are really geared around those young guests and obviously making sure that uh, they're being fully entertained. And so here you see some of the itineraries that we feature in 2018 that are still available with kids sale free promotion. So they're in August, which is perfect really, prime holiday time, certainly out of the UK market. Um, you've got from New York to Montreal on Symphony, uh, and then in Rome, uh, we have the round trip there in September on Serenity followed by New York to Fort Lauderdale, and then Fort Lauderdale to Los Angeles on Symphony Serenity, respectively. And then we have our Sell 3, Sale 3 promotion uh, for uh, Crystal Cruises on Crystal Serenity and Crystal Symphony. So this is where it's really a benefit for you. So if you sell three suites on board either Serenity or Symphony, then you will have the opportunity to enjoy a free cruise yourself. And this promotion is available on most of our ocean sailing books between now and the end of June. So I'd just like to now just give you a reminder of, some, uh, of something we have called the Travel Agent University. Now this is actually accessible from the Partner Resource Centre. And this has been completely redeveloped to really focus on the distinctive attributes that we have now of the crystal experiences, be it ocean, river, land, and air, and we've put together some dedicated modules that will work for either those of you who know all that there is to know about crystal travel, or crystal, crystal everything, or those of you who are new to crystal and who are really looking for that information to help you grow your sales with us. So this is um, how to access the Travel Agent University. So you log in to the Partner Resource Center, which you can either access through um, the website, crystalcruises.com, and scroll to the bottom of the page, and you can click through there. Or you can go to agents.crystalcruises.com, uh, and you can access uh, to the Travel Agent University that way. You click on Resources, select Crystal Academy, and then you log into the Crystal Academy using your partner resource credentials. And this is then the overview of the modules that you'll find there. So there's a module on all things Crystal, and then the separate modules on Crystal Cruises, Crystal River Cruises, and Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises. And the great news here from these is the benefits that you have. You will earn two continuing education units from the Travel Institute for Qualified Agents. You'll be able to download your specialist diploma, and there's some more perks that we're just working on that we'll share with you as soon as we have them finalized. And of course, we're social, we're crystal. So you find us on all of the different social media channels. You find us obviously on Facebook. We have a great crystal blog that I would really recommend that you find and use if you don't already. And the crystal blog uh, gives you behind the scenes glimpses of what happens in on some of our valued uh, crew members. We're on Instagram and there you see it on Twitter. So we've got either at the Roy Crystal, so that's Carmen, uh, our Senior Vice President of Marketing and Sales uh, Twitter handle, and all we've got at Crystal.
questions for you, Mike. We do have some questions, and everyone should feel welcome to continue to type them in as we have. Our first question is from Eva, who is wondering about the size of the um, chairs in the dining room. She's wondering if there are alternative options as they look a little small for some people. Okay, that's a great question, Eva. And I have to tell you, that's the first time I've ever been asked that. <laughs> so, um, yes, we do have different, we have chairs with arms and then chairs that have no arms. So depending on guest preferences, uh, we can accommodate if there is a request for, for example, no armchairs, which uh, then make maybe more comfortable for some guests. So hopefully that answers your question. Perfect. I figured that would be the case. Our next question is from Herbert, who is wondering if the ships are power chair and wheelchair friendly. Um, so Herbert, thank you for the question. I think it was power chair and wheelchair friendly. Absolutely. Um, obviously, we adhere to the ADA, the American Disabled Association's requirements. So we have dedicated staterooms and suites, uh, which are accessible for guests with power or wheelchairs. And of course, um, there's lifts to all decks and uh, flat floors. Um, so very accessible for all, all um, ac uh, access available. So with either power chairs or wheelchairs, no problem at all. Great. Our next question is from Christine, who is wondering if design the Design Your Time program, if guests have to pay for that. Thank you for the question, Christine. And yes, there is a charge for the Design Your Time, uh, because this is typically sort of going away from the complimentary tours that we offer. Uh, and we're working with the guests to put together that, that wish list, that bucket list. Uh, desire that they'd like to put together, there is a charge for that. It obviously varies depending on what it is that the guest is wanting us to, to create for them. Okay. Our next question is from Shannon, who is wondering if the 2019 President's Cruise has been announced yet. Yes, thank you, Shannon. It was, it has been announced, I think, and I might, I might get this wrong. I think it was announced about about two months ago, six to eight weeks ago, we announced the President's Cruise. So um, yes, it's, it's out there. And uh, again, if you go to the uh, Travel Agent Resource Center, there's a flyer there that you can download as well if you're wanting to do some promotions around the President's Cruise. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Crystal, who is wondering if there are any king size beds or are they only queen size? Thank you, Crystal, for the question. So on our river ship, all of our beds are king size, uh, which can be converted obviously into twin beds as needed, as depending on the guest preference, as is the same on Crystal Esprit and actually also on our ocean voyages, uh, ocean voyages, ocean ships. The beds are king size. Yes. Perfect. This next question is from Karen, who is wondering if there is a cost to the river cruise excursions or if they are included. Um, great question. Thank you, Karen. And I should have made that clear. We have a range. We have a choice in every destination that we go to on our uh, Crystal River cruises. There is always a selection of complimentary tours which can be either half days or full days, depending on how long we are in that particular destination. And then there's also a selection of, of paid tours. Uh, but I have to say from personal experience, having recently sailed on Crystal Ravel, um, the complimentary tours are outstanding. So um, if your guests would like to pay, that would be lovely, but there's really no need. The, the, the tours that we offer on the complimentary basis are really quite outstanding. And it kept a small group, and we have the quiet box technology, you know, where you put those earplugs in and you don't need to sort of cluster around the guide. Uh, if, let's say you're doing a walking tour, you can, you know, be at distance to the guide and still hear exactly what they're saying. So it's a really lovely experience on the tours uh, for the Crystal River Cruises. Okay, and actually, that before I forget, great. Sorry, Anna, sorry, sorry, Anna, just be thinking. Also on Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises on Crystal X3, we actually also do include uh, the complimentary tours as well. So it's the same logic. Um, there'd always be a couple of choices of complimentary tours in the different destinations that we visit with Crystal uh, Esprit as well. Sorry, Anna, thank you. 
so expanding let me expand on that <laughs> yeah no problem um i want everyone to get all the information so that's great. Um, our next question is from David, who is wondering, besides Diamond Class, are there any other development plans, like new ships, acquisitions, new routes, anything like that? Um, lovely question. And at the moment, we've just brought out uh, the last of our river cruise ships. As I said, Christopher Bell, actually, I had the pleasure of being on the very first day of her first voyage, which was only uh, a couple of weeks ago. So on the river cruises, we're now consolidating with our five ships. We've got Crystal Endeavour coming down the line and then Crystal Diamond class. So not really anything else we can talk about at the moment, David, but, but you know, keep your eyes peeled. Um, we will be talking more about Crystal Diamond class over the next few months. And obviously with Crystal Endeavour, we haven't yet released um, the itineraries, so that will be happening there. Okay, perfect. These next questions um, kind of go hand in hand, so I'll ask them together. They are from Heather and Janet. Um, they are wondering if Crystal Ships offer daycare facilities with those for, for those with small children, and do either the Serenity or Symphony have children's programs? So both of the ships have um, children's programs. So we have uh, two dedicated rooms on both of the vessels um, that are age uh, for age appropriate. Sorry that has age appropriate entertainment and toys and activities. Um, typically on Crystal, we don't have those very young children. We actually have a policy whereby uh, under six months old uh, are not allowed to sail with us. And the reason for that is because we don't have the neonatal, not neonatal, sorry, the, the early infant um, uh, equipment needed uh, on, in, our, in our medical center. And in actual fact, uh, the experience, therefore, is better for six months and above. Uh, and then we also um, will bring on, depending on the ages of the children, we have the junior activity directors who are specialists in looking after the children from uh, sort of three years upwards. Anything below three, we would, it's really the, the parents that need to take charge of their little ones. I hope that answers the question okay. for Heather and Janet. I think so. Our next question is from Tony, who is wondering, on Crystal Air, can an individual reservation be made or is it only group charter? Uh, thanks for the question for that one, for uh, Tony. So with Crystal Air Cruises, um, we do have operated a couple of what we, uh, what we call air cruises, where um, there's programmed itineraries of anything between up to seven and ten days. These are typically starting from Hong Kong or Shanghai or Asia, where guests can book into those. Uh, but otherwise, no, the, the planes are there for private charter. We don't do sort of individual selling into groups or selling into a group charter, if that makes any sense. So it's really either of those um, periodic air cruises that we offer, sailing, uh, sailing, forgive me, I haven't got used to, to flying language or airplane language. Um, so we typically, it's either the air cruises out of Asia or um, you charter yourself. Okay, perfect. And we'll just have one last question um, and then we'll find out who that lucky winner is for that special gift card. And this last question is from Janet, who is, who is wondering um, if wine, spirits, and Wi-Fi are complimentary on Crystal Voyages. Oh, that's a great question. Thank you for finishing with that, Janet. And I, I should have absolutely made that clear. So very pleased to say that on all of Crystal um, experiences in the water and on well, on the water and in the air, rather, uh, Wi-Fi is complimentary. And also uh, unlimited wines, champagnes, uh, beverages, soft drinks are also included. Uh, so it's all complimentary. Um, the other point as well on Crystal River Cruises, we have our own fleet of motor coaches and actually we do include the Wi-Fi on those motor coaches. So we, you know, for our guests, they're always connected. It's so important in today's world. And so we really facilitate um, for our guests to be connected wherever they would like to be. Perfect. And I believe that is all of the questions that we have. So if you'd like to announce that winner. Oh, how exciting. So I feel like I should do a drum roll. Um, so very pleased oh. to announce <laughs> that Barbara Reed 
from Cruise Planners is the lucky recipient of the webinar raffle. So 